So I'm delighted to welcome Rory Pluis to Experts React. Uh, this session, we want to talk about ChatGPT. So what is ChatGPT? I thought the easiest way would be, well, let's ask it. So I've typed in a prompt, what is ChatGPT? And it's come back with a result. Uh, it's a large language model. It's based on internet text and it generates human-like text in response to a prompt. So a couple of terms there, let's just look at those terms. First of all, what you type in, the question is called a prompt, and what it comes back with is a result. And that's what ChatGPT is. The better the prompt, the better the results. A little bit about Rory. Uh, Rory didn't know even the term Salesforce uh, a year and 13 days ago. Uh, he is now, um, he's got three certs, um, associate, Salesforce admin, and platform builder and he's uh, on target to uh, become an application architect by the end of the year. So huge trajectory. So why have we got him on Experts React? Well, he's been using ChatGPT every single day, and I thought it would be fantastic to get his insights into how to make the most of it, and also some of the pitfalls. So Rory, uh, welcome to Experts React. Hi, thank you, Ian. Uh, looking forward to this session. Good, so am I. So first of all, uh, tell me what you've been using ChatGPT for. Uh, so I've been using it for a couple of months now. As you said, I use it almost pretty much daily and try and trip it up, try and get it to help me. Um, just understanding the ins and outs of it, really. So, so hang on. So you, when you say you're using it, it, getting it to write poems, getting it to write marketing, what are you actually using it for? Uh, so I'm using it to help me with my job. Uh, I already know how to do my job, obviously, but ChatGPT can help me do my job faster. So I ask it specific questions such as write me a formula and I'll put in the custom metadata that I want it to write me a formula for, which is the awesome thing about ChatGPT, Chat GPT, is it works for custom metadata and doesn't just give you a standard response like you'll find on Google where you have to customize it yourself for your own org. So what sort of things is it? Are they formulas, validation rules, are they lightning web components? What are you actually using it for? So I'm largely using it for formulas, validation rules. I've tried to ask it to create me a flow. It struggles quite a lot there, especially if you're not specific. I don't particularly use it for the programmatic side because if I asked it that question, I wouldn't understand the response it gives me. And this, I don't think I would want to put it into my production org because as Andrew spoke about last week, that would just build huge tech debt if I keep on putting things in that I just don't understand. Oh, hang on. So there's a really important point you made there, which is it won't create stuff if you don't understand A, how to ask the question and B, understand the answer it's giving you. Exactly. Um, if I ask it to create a lightning web component for asking chat GPT a question, because you can do that now, uh, the response it gives me, the code could be complete trash and I wouldn't know. I would just put that into production and tell people it works and it probably wouldn't. <laughs> Okay, so this is not uh, this is not going to replace you, but this is actually a very efficient helper. It's an efficient helper, yeah, definitely. Is if you ask it the right question and a specific question, it will just speed up getting from the question to the answer, and I'd be able to get to that answer, but it will answer it ten times faster than I'd be able to come up with an answer. So does that mean chat GPT, you could use it for answering questions in the trailblazer community or maybe passing your admin cert? Absolutely not. No. Um, I think if you don't have the ability to answer the question someone's answering, it's better to leave it to someone who has more experience. I think if you paste in their question to chat GPT, the answer will possibly be wrong. And if you pay put that answer into the trailblazer community, someone will flag it up. And actually now AI can detect an answer is written by AI. So you'll probably even be called up on that, that they know that you haven't written that response. 
So I suggest that also means that this is not going to make you a consultant if you're not. I, I think you said something which is, if you don't understand how to ask the question and you don't understand how to validate the answer, then you shouldn't be using ChatGPT. No. Well, you should be using ChatGPT, but for what you should be using it for. Hence, I use it for formulas and validation rules, but I don't ask it to draw me up a contract. How much faster do you think it makes you? It depends what I'm asking it. Um, for formulas and validation rules, if I ask it really specifically and get in big de detail on uh, the exact field names and make it so that it almost can't get the answer wrong, it speeds up my process 10 times as quick. If I don't ask the question well enough, it will give me an answer. I'll paste that into Salesforce and ask it to check the syntax and it will give me a syntax error. At that point, I either manually have to debug it and that takes a bit of time depending on how advanced the formula is. I can just ask ChatGPT to debug it again and it may give me the right answer. It may give me the wrong answer. You, you just need to keep on going through it. But when it starts throwing the errors, it does slow you down. But I think it's still faster than me coming up with a formula or validation rule from scratch. So even the time taken to ask the question in a really specific way is still faster than you writing the rule? Yes. So it sounds like ChatGPT is better than Google, or maybe not. What are your perspectives on ChatGPT versus Google? I think in some instances, ChatGPT is much better than Google, especially when you're asking such a specific and customizable question. It will give you a customized response personally to your question, uh, which is awesome when you're asking about formulas for custom fields. But the instance where Google might be better is if you ask Google for uh, how to write a flow of a certain type, you'll get multiple answers back from that. And some of those answers might be, you're asking the wrong question. It's not, how should I write this flow? It's this, how do I write this formula field? And the formula field is actually better than the flow. Fantastic. So you, actually, it's not a case of pick, pick a tool. It's actually about how do you use them in combination? Yeah. And especially when you're not fully sure on the answer, Google will give you multiple answers and different perspectives, whereas ChatGPT gives you ChatGPT's answer to your question. And ChatGPT is not using the latest internet data. I think they stopped teaching it from data a while ago. Yeah, it's 2020 or 2021 is the data that it's using. Um, so it's not up to date. Um, yeah. So it doesn't know about the whole new permissions and, and uh, uh, profiles. It doesn't understand DevOps Center yet. But I'm assuming yeah, yeah. in the future that we are going to see it's it's going to be we're going to start to see it being taught uh, everything up to the current day. Yeah, when it starts using real time data, I think that will make it a lot more powerful than it already is. Uh, you've obviously been using it for a while. So do you have any perspectives or thoughts about where this is going to go in the future? I do, definitely. I think when it starts to use real information at real time off the internet, it will obviously become a lot more powerful because new Salesforce features that come out, you'll be able to ask it how best to use it. Um, you'll be able to almost train yourself faster on chat GPT by asking questions to it instead of possibly trying it out in a sandbox and not getting the result you want. Wow. Okay. So there's, uh, the, the future actually is bright and maybe quite scary or actually amazing. Well, and with all of this the new technology, we, we're not quite sure where it'll take us, but it's certainly it's, it's benefiting you every single day. I think the future looks bright. I don't think it scares me because in my view, it's not going to take my job and I don't think it's going to take many people's jobs. 
that's a fantastic way to, to end. Thank you so much, Rory, for joining us. Thank you very much. This feels like it's something we need to continue to watch. Anyone who hasn't got involved or at least taken a look at ChatGPT, I think you need to. It's an important technology which will change the way that uh, maybe we think about development and how we accelerate development. So thank you so much for joining us for this edition of Experts React. As we said, there'll be uh, one of these coming out every week. So make sure you subscribe uh, down there, up there, whatever, subscribe. See you at the next one.